Hi, and welcome to this webisode of Reclaiming Space. I'm Tracy K. Pierce. I'm a clutter coach, holistic organizer, and the creator of the Reclaim Your Space, Reclaim Your Life Bootcamp. Today, I wanna to give you three different tools you can use to keep you focused and on track with your goals. The first tool is using visual reminders. So this could be using a sticky note, writing a little note to yourself on your bathroom mirror with a wet dry erase marker, or maybe you use a whiteboard where you can jot a note to yourself where you just remind yourself of your goals and what you're working towards. Another visual reminder you could use would be to create a vision board, which basically it's a collage of pictures, words, anything that help remind you of your goal. Now it's good to place these reminders someplace where you're gonna see them frequently. But I will warn you, one of the problems with visual reminders is after a little while, usually about a month or longer, your brain gets used to seeing that reminder. And it's almost as if, because your brain is used to seeing it there, you don't actually see it anymore. So it's a really good idea to switch up your visual reminders about once a month or so. So that might mean using a different color sticky note, using a different color pen or different words if you're writing little reminders out to yourself or perhaps moving your vision board to a different part of the room. So that's tool number one. Tool number two is using audible reminders. So for me, I love my smartphone and I use two apps that really help me stay on track. The first is using my alarm, and the second is using the reminder app. So if I have certain things that I need to do during the day, I'll set my alarm and it'll go off to remind me, oh yeah, I need to be doing this right now. But I also like to use the reminder app, and I have some things programmed in there. I've got about three different things I'm thinking about at this current time, and so in the morning, a little reminder comes in, ding, 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 remember this? And then in the early afternoon, or another reminder comes in, ding, 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 remember this, and then another one in the late afternoon. However, audible reminders can be kind of similar to visual reminders in the fact that if you get used to the sound of your alarm going off, then it can be easy to not pay attention to it anymore. So one of the things that I personally do is then I'll sort of shift the time that that particular reminder comes in, and I also change the tone. So that's tool number two. Tool number three is to get yourself hooked up with an accountability buddy. So that might be somebody like me, a coach, but it could just be a friend or family member or maybe your buddy at the gym. It's really, really helpful to work with a buddy to help you keep on track and stay accountable. I was speaking to a friend of mine the other day who she has a weekly recurring phone appointment with a friend of hers. They check in with each other, make sure they're staying on track with their goals, and then commit to taking one action step to get even closer to their goals in that next hour after they talk, they do their action step, and then they call each other back in an hour to check in and make sure they actually followed through with the, what they said they were gonna do. All right, so those are three tools you can use to help you stay on track with your goals. I hope you find that useful. If you haven't tried these methods before, I highly recommend you check them out, give them a try. I personally like to use a combination of all three. It's good to try them out and see what works best for you. Again, I'm Tracy K. Pierce. If you'd like to learn more about me and my business, please visit www.synergyorganizing.com. And until next time, keep on clearing the clutter and be well.